I don't know about you guys, but I get super excited talking about the latest new little portable monitors that come out. Said no one ever. <laughs> uh, I, I know what you're thinking, oh man, another monitor, but trust me, stay with me. I'll show you the reason why I was actually surprised and I ended up using this for like the last two months that I've had this to test out. And like is the case with a lot of these companies that send me a whole bunch of things, usually most of those things turn out to be crap, but they send in all kinds of things to me and they're just like asking me like, please use it. If you like it, you know, maybe you can mention it. And I gotta be honest, I did not think much of this because I've gotten a lot of these uh, cheap little portable monitors. I've had this for two months, used it and abused it. And I can honestly say if like now I'm kind of always carrying it, especially here with my, with my MacBook. I have the MacBook Air, um, the, the 13 inch version. So it's definitely a small laptop, but this is like the smallest probably you want to go with, um, like when you're going to pair it. And the reason is because this monitor is essentially a portable monitor. So you can use it on, on its own, it has a little stand here in the back. So I'll kind of show you how that works. But it also has this really cool clamping mechanism that allows you to basically clamp it on the back of your, um, your laptop and you can extend it and have dual screens. It's very fast to like attach it, to connect it, um, and also very thin and very light. First, maybe I'll show you guys how you actually connect it. So here on the side, they do give you uh, two USB connections and a micro HDMI connection. And I know what you're thinking, oh man, micro HDMI. And yeah, I also hate micro HDMI. But the thing is that you don't have to use it. Now, if you have a really like, I guess an old computer that doesn't support USB-C, then you might have to use it. Now they do give you the cable for it. They give you all the cables. So they actually do give you the cable that I use the most, which is this rather long, I don't know, three, four feet uh, USB-C cable and it's just USB-C on both sides. And that's basically all I use to plug it into here and then to my MacBook. And with this one cable, I can provide both the power to the monitor, but also the video signal. Let me quickly just plug it in and show you guys how that works. And you're gonna see the monitor start up. As you guys can see, it's, it's a decent display. I'm not gonna say it's the best monitor out there, but it's not also one of like the worst ones that I've had, like, especially when it comes to these small, cheap portable monitors. Uh, this thing is full 1080p resolution, it's 14 inch display, uh, so it's slightly bigger than my MacBook Air. It is an 8-bit display, but it, it has, you know, it reproduces the colors perfectly. It's sufficient for me, like when I'm on the go and I need to have uh, an, another monitor, for example, when I'm doing video editing and I want to have like a dedicated monitor just for my video feed, uh, or if I just need to extend my desktop, right? So it's, it's good for that. Uh, has a 178 degree viewing angle and even like from here when I'm looking at it from up above yeah I can see pretty much everything. Now it does have uh, as you notice here as I move it around it does have sort of this empty glare I have a giant light up here so if I put it just the right angle then you will see that light glaring in it see like right there but for the most part it's pretty good I've used it outside I've actually used this a lot when I'm traveling because you know, my MacBook Air is nice, thin, light, easy to work with, and then this thing too. So together I can just put them in my laptop bag, and then, as you can see, I can quickly set it up. So the way you're seeing it right now, like I said, is uh, it's sort of on its own, so you can use it like that. Uh, and you do have like a little stand here, and you can adjust the, the length of this, so you can adjust the angle, basically, of how you were to put it. You can extend it, so you can have it you know, pretty much almost go straight like this if you wanted to. And it's nicely kind of padded here. It has the rubber uh, on, on each side here in the, in the corners of this little leg. And then, like I said, if you want to, you have a button here, you press it and you can fold it away. You also can use this, this thing, which is how I usually like to use it, is to by attaching this to, the, to my MacBook. But if you wanted to, you can actually put it like this and you have multiple configurations that you can put in there. Uh, like in the software, right, of your display. So you could even use it, like let's say if you're, I don't know, maybe programming or doing like web coding, things like that, or accounting, and you prefer to have a, a monitor that's more uh, vertical than horizontal, then again, you can do that. And this thing, as you can see, will stay there. And again, the reason is because they just kind of thought of everything. All of these areas up here, as you can see, they're nicely like padded and they have these rubber basically stoppers on it. So it won't slide around on you. 
So you can use it like that. Now the way I like to use it is in this position. Now this clamp-on system is designed to work with laptops from 13 to 16 and a half inches, so in size. And the way you attach it, and that's sort of the brilliant thing about this is that it's just literally just, you, you have this little hook, like I said, on the top, you just put it on there, and then you put the one here on the left, and here, I'll kind of rotate it so you guys can see it. And as you'll notice, like you can grab both of these, you can carry them easily because they're, uh, you know, well, this and this is very light. Uh, so it still it's kind of stays nice and portable. So I don't know what you guys really think of this, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Again, having this nice small portable laptop is great, but like I said, sometimes like when I travel with this, I, I do wish that I had like a nicer, bigger display. And having this up here, again, that's something that's so thin and so light uh, means that again, I can throw it in my l uh, laptop bag and I can carry it and I can, again, very fast uh, connect it to my, to my MacBook and I have a nice big extended display. Uh, whether you're multitasking, you know, for me it's mainly video editing. Like I'm here, I would see all my timeline and I use this as my main big display. Uh, and the fact is that you can connect it all using this one cable, which is pretty cool. Now, if you do have like an older laptop, uh, let's say something that, you know, again, is not able to provide video out through USB-C or doesn't provide enough power or simply you don't have USB-C, then they do give you also other cables. They give you, uh, like I said, the micro HDMI cable here. And then on the other side, it's a full size HDMI. So you'll be able to get the video signal into your uh, the, the monitor here and then they also give you uh, USB-C to uh, USB uh, type A the, the connection so that means again you can connect the USB-C here and then that you would plug it into your laptop or your computer to provide power they do actually also give you a little power adapter like a little brick so you also view let's say if your laptop doesn't have an extra USB connection or, or for example the one that it does have doesn't provide power then uh, you'd be able to just plug that into an outlet. Ideally, you don't have to use those two cables or plug it into a wall because, like I said, you know, and I, I think with most laptops these days, you should be able to just do what I'm doing up here, which is one cable, plug it in and just forget about it. You know, as you can see, it works. So overall, I'm very happy with this monitor. Like I said, I've been using it for the last two months, even though I thought this is gonna be like, again, one of these products that company sends into me and I'll open the box and then I'll never touch it again. But no, I have been using it a lot, using and abusing it actually. Now, maybe that's where you could say uh, it's not all lollipop and sunshine. Lollipops and the, uh, one thing sort of that I noticed already after two months of really heavy use, in some cases where like, because I had a, a knee surgery, a, like an injury, all that stuff. Anyways, I, was, I spent a lot of time in bed. And so uh, not the most ideal working conditions, because like I said, I would have like, you know, whether it's my kids or, or my dog or whatever jumping beside me and I actually had them one time jump on this and kind of bend it. Um, and over time, I noticed that one of these hinges, where is it? One of these hinges, it still holds. It's just like I witnessed like a little crack in it. Let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's like a small crack. I don't even know if you guys will be able to catch it, but it's here. It's kind of cracked a little bit. Now the plastic still holds. It's just, you know, if this thing completely, like this attachment completely falls off, then it won't be as fun to attach it to your monitor, right? You have to kind of fix it up or something. Now, like I said, this video is not sponsored by this company, uh, but it is sponsored by all of you who head on over to my website and support my work by purchasing my labs or my filmmaking tutorials. Now, for those of you who haven't had a chance to check out my store and all the cool things I've got there, then uh, definitely would appreciate it if you head on over, over there. Uh, and anyways, that's it for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.